Hello, this is CryptoNet bringing to you once again cryptocurrency and you. But today, I don't think we're going to be talking much on um, Bitcoins or cryptocurrency or BitConnect. I'm going to be introducing us to something in hash graph. As you can see, hash graph comes out of stealth. Hash graph is something new. Um, I sort of came across it recently and I thought I should bring it bring the knowledge to to bring the knowledge to us hash graph it's supposedly going to be the new blockchain as a whole it's going to replace blockchain and all as we all know bitcoin the bitcoin the blockchain platform recently bitcoin generally has become has become slow and kind of expensive if you know what i mean transaction fees and all that and here is hash graph and supposedly going to tackle those challenges that we're having with the blockchain technology and Bitcoin in general. So basically I'm going to, okay, there's a short video here. I'm going to play for us. is an entirely new way to achieve consensus in a distributed ledger technology. So think what Bitcoin did on their blockchain and Ethereum. We're an entirely new way of doing it, but we're not a blockchain at all. And we think Hashgraph is the future of blockchain tech. So we've just come out of stealth. No one knows who Hashgraph is. People are like, why, why aren't you Vitalik? Like, why aren't you Ethereum? And uh, we, we had the founders of the technology, Dr. Lehman Baird and uh, Mance Harmon, uh, his co-founder here with us. So a blockchain is just a chain of blocks, right? And we think the future of that, that doesn't scale really well. In fact, Vitalik was here talking at the conference and a lot of what he talked about was that uh, scalability issues. In fact, uh, I'm not misconstruing his words at all. This is what he said on stage with Naval Ravikant is that it would take them 10 years to scale the hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. We do that today in a non-sharded environment and we don't sacrifice security to do it. We're asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerant, which is the strongest form of security in, in, uh, in a distributed ledger tech. And uh, we've got a public SDK, so we're here sponsoring the hackathon and we've had real apps being built on it today, which is super remarkable. We had like an MMO built on us, a uh, massive multiplayer online game. And then we had a Hashgraph Fair auction ledger where someone built a distributed auction that could never go down, even in a hurricane build on top of Hashgraph, which was super amazing. Absolutely blown away by the names and the faces, the access we've been able to have here. I've been reading TechCrunch since it was just Michael Arrington blogging. And uh, for me, it's sort of a dream come true uh, to kind of be here hobnobbing and bumping elbows with some of uh, the industry's biggest. So uh, we'll be back and I definitely recommend it to peers. So that is Hashgraph. Um, we could check more videos on Hashgraph. Yes, this is the website hashgraph.com and uh, i'll be leaving a link beneath this video that's going to explain bitcoin blockchain and hashgraph it's a very long video it's, it's done by somebody I, I follow i subscribe to on on youtube here very knowledgeable and i think you should set all time to, to actually see this video and see a more in-depth explanation of the whole Bitcoin evolution, blockchain, now the coming of a new new thing, this new kid in the block hash graph to better understand what I'm talking about. I wouldn't want to bore you with too many details, of course. So I'll be leaving the links for the videos on the net and we should try to actually look into this and learn from it. It could be the next best thing on the blog or no. So let's take a look at it. Hash graph. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell to get notifications when I release more new videos. And again, this is CryptoNerds with cryptocurrency and you.